Hey everyone, today we're going to go over that old gospel hymn, That Lonesome Valley. And this is on page 32 of gospel book number 3, and it was an old American traditional folk song dating back to the first recording in 1927 by David Miller. And through the years, this famous song has been recorded by many other artists, such as the Monroe Brothers, Carter Family, the Statler Brothers, Woody Guthrie, Pete Seeger, and Mississippi John Hurt, and many others. So let's get started. You got a wall in that lonesome valley. You got a goal by yourself. Nobody here can go there with you. You got a walk it by yourself. Jesus walked this lonesome valley. John was a Baptist Some folks say he was a Jew But your holy scripture tells you That he was a preacher too You gotta walk that lonesome valley You got to go there for I play this song in uh, the key of G. However, if G is not your singing key, then slide that capo around to find a key that fits your voice. The time signature is a uh, basic 4-4 time, and uh, the tempo is usually a medium upbeat, around 76 to 83 beats per minute. The tempo's been varied throughout the years, and so has the strumming and the pick pattern, so feel free to find a tempo that feels right to you. So there are many strumming and picking patterns to this song, like I said, but for this video we are using a simple down strum on the bass note and then down, up, down, up for the chords the whole time, uh, like this, so. I tend to alternate with the hammer-on on the bass notes on the fourth string, like a... <laughs> and then I'll alternate between 
between that or a which is a C with the G in the bass and land back on the G strum pattern so you can either do both or pick one that you like uh, that feels good to you or none at all if you don't feel like you can do that just yet so let's talk about the intro, the breaks, and the ending. Uh, the intro is real simple. The song in, in its entirety is really simple. So just concentrate on that strum pattern. You got the one. And just jump in like that, okay? I do put a stop between there, uh, just for some emphasis and a little bit of uh, style. So, you know, feel free to, you can just keep. That's personal preference. Um, this song's been around forever, so it's been done very many different ways. So feel free to make this your own. As for the ending, it's the same thing, and you can end it however you want. <laughs> But uh, typically just stick with the intro and you'll be fine. Okay. Now if you want to add an instrumental section between this, uh, just play around the verse and that works just fine. Okay, for performance flair on this one, there's... Um, the stops that I do, which coming in with the vocals there, that's one thing you can do to add between each verse and chorus, or just for the choruses. Uh, I also try to do some muting on the right hand uh, between uh, verses and choruses, so opening up the chorus and uh, singing that, but then during the verses, all of them. For the choruses, just okay, this adds some dynamics to the song and it creates a bit of contrast from the chorus being wide open to the verse being slightly muted. But you don't have to go crazy and you know go like that. Just just a little percussion there that adds a little bit of that to it, and that'll add a, a lot of flavor to this song. Well, thank you for watching and hopefully subscribing if this was helpful to you. I hope you've enjoyed that Lonesome Valley. And don't forget to get book number three with all the chords and the lyrics for your iPad, your phone, or your computer. We'll see you next Sunday.